We are on Facebook Live, and I'm here with my good friend, Pastor Terry Bonner, all the way in Arlington, Washington. You are one of the lead pastors at Jake's House, a great church there. I uh, love what God's doing. And you're crushing it on social media with your morning mindset. You're an author, and I'm married 27 years, is that correct? Yes. And, and two kids and a beautiful wife, Jenny. And uh, one of the things I've been sharing with a lot of people is that marriage and ministry and business, that we need to keep the vision that God has given us, but be willing to change the strategy, especially with COVID-19. Um, Jesus said that you could not put new wine into old wineskins. And why don't you share with the audience maybe some of the things that you have had to do yourself, maybe for your marriage, for your business or ministry, whatever, to continue to keep the vision God has given you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, it's funny you say change because before the quarantine, there were so many pastors and leaders that they didn't really like social media. And you would hear sermons about, you know, you need to stay off of it because it's bad. It might be an okay avenue, but, but now with the quarantine, it's the only avenue yeah. for spreading the gospel. And so there's been, uh, you know, a mindset change with many leaders. And I'm, I'm really praying that once this is over, that people do not go back to normal, but they, they utilize this avenue of uh, Zoom and social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram. It's such a big platform. In fact, I'll say this, our Mount Vernon campus, they, they just gave me a report and they said uh, they have a higher participation of people in prayer on Zoom than they ever did at the church building. And so we're wow. reaching more people right now. It's just amazing time. Yeah. And you talk about going back to normal. And I was reading in the scriptures how the disciples after Jesus, you know, resurrected, that they went back to fishing. They went back to what was normal, what was comfortable with them. And there was nothing wrong with fishing. And it said they actually caught nothing. Because Jesus said, hey, did you catch anything? And they're like, no. And he said, hey, cast the net on the other side. Do something different. And it, you know the story that they caught so many fish. So yeah, I love what you're saying about that. And uh, any other testimonies you want to share, maybe from your broadcast with The Morning Mindset? Uh, you know, I get a lot of people that watch The Morning Mindset, and I get a lot of people that text me privately, and they said, well, hey, uh, you seem to know a thing or two about a thing or two, like the insurance company. Can you, can you help me out? I'm just depressed. I'm suicidal. And, you know, I always tell them, uh, I told people before this, like we take trips to Mexico, and we take teams, and I, I always tell people, Hey, you need to work on yourself before we go to Mexico, because once we get down there, it's going to amplify whoever you are, good or bad. And so the, the best time to have been working on yourself before the quarantine was before the quarantine. Right, right. And people might say, okay, well, I missed it. I wasn't. Okay, well, the second best time is right now, to start now, working yeah. on yourself, developing the fruit of the spirit, becoming a better human being, you know? Wow. You know, I talked to a lot of people that, man, they're just in fear on, on stepping out on what is new, what, you know, what's going to happen, you know, after the COVID-19 lifts and we can go back to church, should we go and, and gather? Um, what could you share with people, maybe a message or a scripture to encourage people during this time of fear or a pandemic, whatever you want to call it? Well, you know, uh, we did a, like a big prayer Zoom meeting today and one of the scriptures, um, I was quoting, it basically said, you know, do not keep your eyes on the seen, but the unseen. Right. And so right now people are afraid. So what do they do? They, they're forced into isolation, but they will literally stay tuned to the news reports, which mm. draw negative. Yeah. So you're just focused on the negative. You're focused on the scene and you can't always trust the news, not because it's a conspiracy, but because they sell right. with negativity. Right. And so, we have to begin to have our focus on God, have our focus on the plan. I mean, I'm a big believer, as you know, that you better have a plan in your life. Otherwise, you're just going to become whatever and whoever. And I don't want to do that. I want to become the person that God wants me to become. Wow. That's good. Uh, how about with your family? Anything you've seen from being home during the quarantine that you can share with other people that would help them? I really had it in my heart before the quarantine to really spend more time with my family and to shift my office hours. And the very next week, the quarantine happened. So I was telling my son just today because his love language is quality time, just hanging out. And I told him, I said, hey, look, Trey, when we go back to our normal hours, I'm still going to switch my schedule 
so I can be around you. And so, you know, we, we have been given such an amazing opportunity to deepen our relationship, not just with God, but with our friends and our family. That's good. So I, I'm really praying that people don't go back to normal and just right. say, okay, this was great three months, but now I'm going to go live my life at work again and sacrifice family. We don't want to do that. We want to deepen our relationships and keep that going. As we close here, Pastor Terry, there's uh, pastors overseas that are watching this. And usually I have the overseas pastors pray for the U.S., but would you pray? So, Father, we just thank you for these pastors and these leaders. God, that you have appointed them as leaders for such a time as this. God, that, that you knew ahead of time that this quarantine was happening. So, Father, I pray strength for every pastor, that they would be the leaders that they need to be to, to lead your people, God. And, and I just pray strength physically, spiritually, mentally, God, in every aspect that they would be blessed of you, that you would just, as the scripture says, that you, you would declare grace, grace, grace upon them, Father. Just strength and grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Terry, it's great to see you. And uh, I'll be watching your morning mindset tomorrow. Yes. Right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, bro.